O God and God of our matriarchs and patriarchs, we gather in solemn reflection. We remember today the souls of our parents and grandparents, our brothers and sisters, our families and our friends, six million innocent lives taken and destroyed simply because they were Jews. We remember those who perished in the gas chambers, those who died of starvation or exhaustion or sickness in the many camps around Nazi Europe. We remember those who died in transit, those who were shot or who were hanged, who were tortured to death, those who were simply buried or burnt alive. We remember those whose bodies were buried in pits or thrown into the water. We remember those whose bodies were burnt to ash and those for whom there is no marked grave nor resting place. We remember, too, all those who resisted, who fought against impossible odds to weaken the enemy and buy time that others might survive. For some, we are able to light a candle on their yard site. For others, we may know the date of their transport. For yet others, we have no records, sometimes scarcely, even the most scant recollection that they ever lived. We offer our prayers and we cherish the memory of them all. The six million Jewish lives lost is not simply a tragedy for the Jewish people and the Jewish world. It was a crime with perpetrators and with accomplices, and it was a tragic loss for all of humanity. We call on humanity to examine its own soul, to reflect upon the failure of nations to speak out against the evil that was evident in Germany, the failure to bring in refugees, the failure to facilitate emigration and immigration, the failure to destroy the railways or to interrupt the workings of the camps. We, children of the second and third generation, can never forgive nor forget. Rather, we hold the international community to account. On this International Holocaust Remembrance Day, we call upon the international community of nations to be mindful that there remain regimes where Jewish freedom is incomplete or where racism against our people is unchallenged. There are regimes that believe in a nation for every people and yet that the Jewish state should be pushed into the sea. We call upon the international community of nations to condemn anti-Semitism alongside all other forms of racism and to be watchful against abuse of every form. May the world never again witness the attempt by one nation to exterminate another. May the world never again close its eyes and refuse to witness and refuse to criticize and refuse to intervene as it did in the 1930s and 40s. May the world reject the attempts by men of science or philosophy to designate fellow human beings as inferiors or to justify the subjugation of the weak. May God strengthen us and our nation. May he fortify all people of this earth to stand up for what is right and not stand idly by. May God bless and reward the soldiers, the partisans and the civilians, the decent men and women on all sides who campaigned for what was right and for our freedom. May God have compassion upon the souls of the innocent and the victims. May they rest in peace and let us say, Amen. <laughs>